Hi everyone and welcome to the Minicube Studio. Today we are going to be working with a chemical process to seal an interface plate. The interface plate is what we need to uh, test the Serenity spacecraft on a vibration table. You don't actually put the satellite and a container directly on the table. You use this interface plate in order to protect both their equipment and the satellite. Anyway, it's a very, very important piece, and we've got to treat it before we can actually use the part. So we're going to go out into the studio today, and we're going to make that happen. Right, so here's our aluminum plate. We have pre-processed it with uh, LumaClean to take out all the oxides and we've put it in this container. We actually have it suspended off of the floor just a little bit. We're going to completely submerge this in allodene and uh, seal it all up. Okay, whenever you're doing work like this, it is incredibly important that you wear proper safety gear. We have our gloves, we have splash-proof goggles, and we have our uh, industrial smock, which is designed for working with these chemicals. If you don't have proper protection gear while you're doing this kind of work, you could have a very bad day. Please, if you do any type of work like this, remember to use personal protection gear. Okay, what we did was we read the instructions again carefully, and we found that really the best thing to do is to be working outside. It's just not a good idea to be leaving this chemical inside the studio with other things there. There are too many warnings on the, the container. So we're just going to do the work outside. So we've got our pan set aside with our plate in it, and we're going to brush the chemical onto the plate. We're going to do this in a couple of different passes, and then we're going to flush everything with water. We're doing that at the corner of the property where I can then hose everything down and dilute the chemical so that there's no potential contamination anywhere. Well, overall this didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to, it's still a good test. We can actually see that the material has in fact been changed by the allodene liquid. It is now slightly uh, corrosive resistant, which is what we were after. This is the type of stuff that we really, really need to have happen. More and more work like this gets us more experience. More experience leads to better product. So that's what we're going to focus on right now. We're just going to keep working at it and working at it until we get things right. For now, this will do what we need it to do, and the next one will be even better.